I'm going to share with you one of my favorite little tricks in Excel and that's how to actually format the axis on a chart individually. Now I'm going to assume you know a little bit about Excel's number formatting syntaxes and if you don't or haven't heard about this you can quickly google it or just see how you go following along if you really want you can drop a comment below and let me know that i need to make another video so that i can explain this concept in more detail but it's pretty simple it's basically a way that excel lets you write your own number formats which goes positive semicolon negative semicolon zero uh, followed by semicolon text as well so we can actually use this system to create really cool axes on our chart so i'm just in excel now i'm obviously working on the mac today so it might look a little bit different but the first thing we're going to do is insert just a standard line chart. I've got some old crude oil uh, futures data here that I'm using as dummy data for today. Anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead and format the date axis, uh, make it a little bit tidier, um, just drop some months in there. So let's get started with this conditional formatting. The first thing you need to do is actually select the axis that you're interested in. I'm gonna select the Y axis. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just do a dummy one to show you kind of this concept. So I'm going to make this axis all green. So I'm going to open square bracket, type green, close that square bracket, use the word general to represent. I just want this to be general formatting. Uh, I'm going to have a semicolon, enter the word red, and then the word general. So this would essentially mean that anything positive, I want it to be green, anything negative, I want it to be red. And look, when you apply that there, you can see all of my values are positive, while dig toe negative during COVID, but that's a story for another day. So let me just demonstrate with one more little bit of example, I'm gonna add semicolon zero. And as you can see, that zero is then excluded from the green general. Excel assumes that the zero is a positive number if you don't exclude it uh, specifically. Okay, so if I'm not being super clear, let's try something else. In this case, I'm gonna set the number 60 to be the color magenta. So all I'm gonna type is open bracket magenta, close bracket, open bracket equals 60, close bracket general. And then I'm gonna put a semicolon at the end. Now the semicolon at the end is really important. That basically tells Excel I'm not typing any more code. There's nothing else coming. Get rid of it if it's not uh, meeting this criteria. And as you can see, all we've done there is highlighted that the number 60 is in magenta. Now, this is also important that there is actually a number 60, otherwise Excel will just give you nothing and you'll just have a blank axis there. So it's gonna take a little while for you to get familiar with all this code and you can really play around in here to get an idea of how it all works. Okay, so let's try another one. This time I'm gonna add after our magenta color option, just the word general and see what happens. And would you look at that? It's given back our numbers and I'm just gonna put the size up a little bit there so we can see them a bit easier. Okay, so for the most part now, I've just been messing around changing the colors, which isn't actually very useful, but something that is incredibly useful and is something that I've used in my career all the time is actually changing the zero to be something that represents what the data is. So in this case, let's assume it's for per barrel of oil or dollars per barrel of oil. So you can see here it's between 80 and $140 per barrel. So what I'm typing in is if it's greater than zero as my first condition, open bracket greater than zero, then I'm gonna include hash hash as instead of general, I just wanted to do two digits. Uh, and this is another way to represent that data I was talking about before. So if you want me to elaborate on that, just uh, drop a comment below or someone drop a comment and everyone liked that comment so that I know that that's something that you all want. Uh, so then we've got the semicolon hash hash because we don't really, aren't dealing with really a negative number. Uh, semicolon and this time I'm gonna enter at dollars per BBL. So this will return the zero as dollars per BBL. And as you can see, I now have this awesome figure which shows it's uh, dollars per barrel of oil in the, this Y axis. Look, that was really fast. I uh, hope you managed to keep up. If you didn't, just hit pause, hit the J key to jump back. If you like this content, let me know. Hit subscribe, hit like, or drop a comment as I've said before. I do have some other videos on making Excel figures, so make sure you subscribe if you want more of that. Otherwise, I'll see See you next time.